Hello, dear friends, and greetings from spooky season. What follows is a brief, spoiler-free review of Cabinet of Curiosities on Netflix, created and presented by Guillermo del Toro. I rather liked half of the episodes. I'm lukewarm on a couple more, and I'm still processing two of them. I was most disappointed in the two Lovecraft, open air quotes, adaptations. They share a title with a Lovecraft story, but they get drowned in a layer of my ideas are better than the author's, which usually actually means I couldn't figure out how to adapt this properly, so I made something else. Or worse, I missed the point. They stand out of the collection for me, however, was the autopsy. I've actually loved this story for like 30 years since I read it in a massive horror collection I still actually own. It's uh, repaired with duct tape, no less. The autopsy, as you might guess, is pretty darn gross, but it is an excellent adaptation, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. Lot 36 had some odd setups that didn't seem to get payoffs, but was still terrific overall. Tim Blake Nelson is a treasure, but the kind of treasure you can be pretty sure is cursed. David Hewlett was also a delight in the Grizzly Treat Graveyard Rats. The viewing, directed by Panos Cosmatos, was directed by Panos Cosmatos, and if you know who that is, then you know what I mean. Otherwise, it is beyond my gifts to explain properly. Two of the episodes, The Murmuring and The Outside, are strongly atmospheric with really good performances and are really weird, but they left me more puzzled than petrified. I am not sure if I wanted them to be more ham-fisted or less ham-fisted. Whichever case, they did not have the proper amount of ham for me, but I'm still probing, still sort of worrying at them like the hole left behind by a pulled tooth. It's sore and uncomfortable, but impossible to dismiss. Be aware, some of these offerings are super R-rated, much more graphic than the horror I've seen recently. So bear in mind that if you are inducting younger ghouls to the tribe, you might not want to start with these. Well, that's all for now. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. And if you're interested to hear more of my spoiler-free ramblings, you can subscribe to the channel. This has been The Throne World. Transmission ends.